today is the evening of day 14 and I have a couple more upgrades today to this catfish vlog monitoring the daily growth of these two red tail catfish so the first one if you look back on some of my other videos I had uh, this grid that had the uh, one inch squares on it. I was going to put this on the bottom and the catfish kept <laughs> swimming under it. So what I did is I took some, some river rocks and I used a hot glue gun. Maybe that'll actually work. So we'll see. This is kind of a tight squeeze in here. See if that'll hold it to the bottom better. Maybe if I can get it around in by the filter here. Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> uh, all right, if I can keep from uh, squashing a catfish underneath that thing. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> Got one catfish. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I almost squashed my catfish. Oh my goodness. All right, let me get this moved over here. Let me see if I can get the catfish away from it. He's trying to swim under it. All right. Yeah, I don't want to. All right, so, there, what do you think of that? It's pinned to the bottom pretty good. I can move it around with my net because of those rocks. Position it pretty good. Nice. Get it away from the, the curved sides, maybe. How about right there? All right. So now the idea with that is, if it works, hopefully they can't swim under it. And if it's still kind of warped a little bit, if they can swim under it, I could put a few more rocks on it and kind of weight it down even more. But I figured the hot glue probably isn't toxic. Hopefully, I wouldn't think it would be. All right, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I see one catfish down there. I saw another catfish in the handle of the filter. <laughs> he likes to kind of hang out. So another thing I ordered. Ooh, this thing kind of slides around pretty easy. Another thing I ordered is a longer and a bigger net so I could reach over in the corner. Uh, a really fine net to pick up a lot of the, the stuff that's floating around down there. All right, so we have another catfish in here. He's so funny. Take a look at that. <laughs> he like hangs out. <laughs> right by the filter. All right, I had to lift up the filter to get him out. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to feed them. Hopefully they'll go on the grid. The other thing I upgraded, take a look at this. This is pretty cool. Take a look at this. It is a selfie stick. And, the, and on the end of the selfie stick is my camera housing for a waterproof camera. How cool is that? So now I should be able to get right up to them, right on the bottom. And if they eat right on the on that grid, uh, I can actually measure them. We can get a, kind of an estimate of how big they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some of these frozen blood worms down here. Getting kind of fancy with all this stuff. And I was looking back at the video with the underwater video. It looked really good. Came out really clear, a lot clearer. 
Uh, the catfish is still, <laughs> still put his head under the, uh, he couldn't go all the way under it, but he put his head under it, which is pretty wild. All right, so what I want to do is I want to put this in the waterproof housing, and we'll take a look at these guys. Look, they're like after each other. That's pretty crazy. All right, so we'll do a little uh, underwater video. Maybe I can move that to where it doesn't have a little gap on the side. I think it's because the the bottom of the hot tub is just not flat. And then uh, we'll do an update tomorrow. So I want to put this in the housing. We can watch them eat and see if we can get an approximate size on these guys. So it is the morning of day 15th. Good morning. And I was looking back at the the video from yesterday. Looks like it came out really nice. And we got a pretty good measurement on that catfish. Looks like uh, they're two inches, two, two and five eighths inches. So what I'm actually doing. So originally I thought I was going to keep this in there full time and I was Kind of worried about the catfish swimming under it. And then I started thinking, why keep it in full time? Why not just put it in for a measurement and then take it out? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. It doesn't have to be in there full time. So I'm going to do maybe once a week. I'll break this out and we'll do measurements. We don't, I don't think we need measurements every single day. You know, monitoring the growth of these guys. So if they start looking bigger, I can already see right in the handle. <laughs> So I got one that hangs out in the handle, one that hangs out underneath. <laughs> He's like right underneath. Look at this guy. Uh, that's pretty funny. See if I can get him out. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, all right. All right, so I'm going to clean up a little bit and feed them for day 15. Pretty awesome. They're growing pretty fast. So I didn't really have a measurement from the very beginning, but the lady at the pet store said they were two inches. I don't know if that was exactly two inches. So this is the first real measurement that we've had on our catfish a little over two and a half inches still really small i thought they were going to be a little bit bigger than that. i thought they were going to be at least three inches but they're still pretty small 
All right, so I'm gonna do another block of frozen bloodworms here. And it kind of looked like on the video, it looked like their bellies were full. I think <laughs> I'll have to go back and look at that video, but you definitely want you want a full belly on these catfish, but you don't want to overfeed them. I've seen a lot of people that can kill their catfish from overfeeding them. They'll just eat and eat and eat until they bloat and die, which is what what I've heard. It's like the number one cause of death for these catfish. So you have to really be careful. As far as overfeeding them, feeding them too much. All right, so I guess I'll end with a little bit of underwater video. <laughs> I'll wrap this up. And we'll just do daily videos every single day if you want to subscribe and come along and, and check out these catfish as we grow them up every day. So thanks for watching. Oh, he's going to eat that big chunk. Look at that. <laughs> he's eating that big chunk oh i should have broke it up a little bit uh one catfish got half the block <laughs> that is pretty crazy i might have to start doing two blocks of blood worms those guys are getting pretty big all right i'm gonna leave you a little bit of underwater video thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow